We're here for the Great Slave Kids Lit Hackathon of 2016. What we're doing here today is making our own children's books. We have a few of our New York based staff here in the conference room in New York. And then on the screen, we have Dan Coyce, who's our culture editor in DC, and Katie Waldman, our awards correspondent also in DC. And so when the timer starts, we'll have an hour to make our own kids' books. These can be as long as you want. You can use any of the tools on the table. Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Your animal oh, is so nervous. a hedgehog. Oh. Okay. It's cute. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and the moral of your story will be: when one door closes, another door opens. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Is this is going to be the shortest kids book ever. An hour is not a lot of time and I spent a long time making really baroque rhymes and I spent so much time on the rhymes that I'm now quite worried about whether I'll even have time to illustrate my whole book. 19 minutes. Yeah. We need a few extra to wrap up. I'm sure we could know. No. No. Just kidding. No. The stakes are high. The clock is ticking. We'll see what happens. Katie would like to know if hedgehogs can climb trees. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I think I told her it's her book. Yeah. I feel like you yeah. can be imaginative. This is all about imagination. Yeah. It's really interesting to look around and see everyone's different approaches. So people are playing to their strengths here. We have Julia Turner, who's using construction paper, and she's doing some block colors, and she's doing kind of a bare bones plot. Julia, do you know the difference between a hedgehog and a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little bit like a turd, but I'm gonna amend it later, and it'll be great, don't worry. Uh, Laura Miller, who so far has no text on her pages, she's just doing illustrations, and they look really beautiful, and it's a skill I never knew she had. I have to say, my story is completely insipid. <laughs> What color do we think hedgehogs are? I know nothing about the lifestyle or habitat of hedgehogs. <laughs> do they live underground? They live in hedges, guys. They live in hedges. <laughs> no. Oh! And that's time, dude. No! I need just a half an hour <laughs> Wow. I am bowled over. I feel like We've got some publishable work out here today. The results I thought were pretty amazing. Malik the Hedgehog. Happenstance plays ball. The Hungry Hedgehog. Ariella and the Magnolia Tree. <coughs> Wilma loves cake. It's called Prickle. Oh. <laughs> and it rhymes. Every page of it rhymes. <laughs> I think going into this, we all knew that we had no experience making children's books, but we had no idea how hard it would really be. Hey, ha. We're playing baseball. Join us. Look, he's the ball. He's right. being thrown oh, from the cat to yeah. the ball. Yeah. It has the unexamined darkness. <laughs> it is a consistent quality of my children's literature. You wind up discovering something in the, in the sort of creative exploration. You find things that maybe you didn't expect to find going in. And, and it, it quite often reveals something uh, something very true, something that can be quite profound about the person uh, doing the work. Prickle the Hedgehog had only one dream. He wanted to make the Hedgehog swim team. It's not just about a whimsical plot or fun, vivid characters. I don't know what a hedgehog really looks like, but that is Ariella. I wish that I had focused more on doing a very simple plot um, and then inserting a few kind of charming details to color things um, or spice things up a little bit. Malik lives in an apartment in Cleveland, a huge city on the Cuyahoga River. Didn't think I was going to go there. <laughs> it was my hope that people would find some some meaning in that and to create what I hope is a complete world, um, a, uh, a a fully realized, uh, although if hastily sketched, uh, still evocative and and I hope charming world. To all the children's book authors out there who are charged with writing their books in only an hour, my heart is with you. Yum. 
says the hedgehog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so charming. Uh. Aww. <laughs> wow. Aww.